Hello. In the second letter to the Thessalonians, the author, who most likely speak in the name of Paul, most likely it's not Paul himself that wrote this letter, speak about leadership. And that's very interesting. If I may, I will read chapter 3, verse 8. And we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it, but with the toll and labor we work night and day so that we may not burden any of you. This was not because we have not that right, but in order to give you an example to imitate. Almost everyone who reflect about leadership, who wrote books about leadership, who have been in a leadership position and has been successful, know that great leaders are not the one who sit back and give orders to people, you do this, you do that. It might be the wisest decision, it might be the right thing to do. And yet, that's not usually what people expect of their leaders. A good example it might be uh, the armed force. Might, you might like or dislike the army and what it represents. But one thing we can identify is this leadership It's not solely based on the, uh, the, the chain of command. It's based on the fact that your commanding officer went through exactly what you went through and this belief that what your commanding officer will ask you to do he or she would do the same for you and it speaks volume about leadership in the church and how much we let ourselves as a church we a leader that were placed in this kind of a remote platform as this position when we believe that they were holier than thou than than thou they were better than us they were than the common people they were they will call it saints and we're not saints but sometimes and well i would say most of the time when you ask people in the pew what they hope as a leader, they will say what? We want someone who is a real human being, someone we can connect, we can feel that yes, he has or she has a special training or wisdom, but still is one of us, one of us human beings that face a similar struggle, who wrestle with the same question, and wake up with the same stupor on the next day of the American election. I believe there's many forms of leadership for different group and, and what works well in one context does not necessarily translate into another one. But I firmly believe that regardless of our leadership style, what is really important is we have to be in the midst of our people, with them, and make sure that those who walk fast, don't forget those who walk a little slower, that we will all walk in the same direction, and if we need to correct course, we all do it together. And we need to be in the midst of our people to share the pain and the anxiety of our people, also share our hope and what gives life and the best way to do it is to be able to do exactly what we ask the people in our churches if we ask them to be generous we have to be generous if we ask them to forgive we have to show way to, to forgive not to boast not to pretend but to set an example that to put leadership not just in words but in practice well that's all for now thank you for watching i'm the lectionary man reverend stefan vermette and until next time take care of yourself